what's really interesting about some of your research and what I certainly learned from reading your book was that what you said just before, there's, there's not so much this kind of greater perspective, wholeness, take the good with the bad, you know, good parent and bad parent, much more of moreover this kind of meaning making how can i see the positive side of all of the difficult things that was that 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 i went through did you did you was that surprising to you yeah i i i thought that you know because everybody knows about near death experiences where people are you know almost structurally changed given messes issues addressed sent mm. back to prophetize whatever that's not like this at all. This mm. is this is not about great epiphanies, uh, meanings revealed, uh, religious pronouncements. This is simply about the best parts of having been loved and mm. loving. So there's often very little said between the dreamer and the people in the dream. So it could just be like you'll, you'll hear almost everybody in the videos just saying they were just there and I just knew. It's knowing, it's feeling, and it doesn't require really a lot of language. And people don't come out of it with questions. You know, the time for therapy is over. They're done. Um, they just le- they're just kind of left with this sense of they're okay and that they're loved and that they're not alone. Mm. Mm. God's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> really yeah, amazing. you know, I mean, it's 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 so common and and. What was interesting, you know, this idea that we fight the dying process, the dimming of the light and all that kind of stuff. We actually use measures of post-traumatic growth as people were going through this process. And this there's this really cool paradox, right? They're physically dying, yet psychologically and spiritually, they're alive, they're gaining understanding. And the take home is there's important living to do while dying. And just because you're dying does not mean you stop living. I mean, it's a vantage point that's unique. It's not surprising that it's introspective and reflective. And, you know, when you're first diagnosed with a bad disease, you're worried about the practical issues of could be finances or what have you. You gradually let go of those things. Mm, and yep. you're you, what you know, you're reduced to your 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 better self, really. Mm-hmm. And you just you think about the things that matter. It, it, it kind of makes sense. 